Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Taurus for November of 2020. Love that card. All right, if this is your first time to my channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Dee. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I help women heal from toxic relationships um, through divine guidance and really kind of healing their childhood, really diving deep into the childhood. Uh, I also have a new course out, just to let you guys know. Uh, called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you are looking to really, you know, connect to your higher self and bring in your wishes, uh, definitely check that out in all the details below. Early bird pricing does end on uh, November 1st, so make sure you get in before then. The price will go up like almost like 500 bucks, so definitely get in on that. Um, description and the comments. All right, so let's see what is happening this month for you guys. All right, sign of Taurus here. So overall energy, let me just take a minute to get a grip on the message they want to give here. Okay, so we've got the star card here, and this is the overall energy. So this is about intuition. This is about, I'm hearing guided light. So this is about either being a guided light or finding a guided light, okay, for you this month of November. There might be somebody, because there's a couple of things here that need to be dealt with, um, need to be brought up and need to be released, I would say, okay? Because what I'm feeling for you is that everything is going good, but then you get in your head um, or something happens and then it triggers you and you get emotional or you get um, anxiety or depression or whatever it is. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of ups and downs. Like you can have a really good day, but then your ego comes in and you know tells you that, well, that was just one good day, it's not gonna happen again, or everything's gonna fall apart when things are going really well. Um, there's just a lot of that happening here is, is what I'm seeing. So in the beginning of the month, you've got the Emperor card, you've got the Hangman, and you've got the Nine of Swords. So in the, in the beginning of the month, I do feel like things are going pretty good, and you might be seeing things in a different way. And you're feeling like this Emperor energy, he's like the father of the deck, so very confident, kind of knows he's got the control, knows um, he really doesn't have anything to worry about because he's confident in himself is what I'm getting. But then we got the hangman with the nine of swords. And I feel as though the change in perception to feeling this energy is allowing you to like have better night's rest, um, being able to sleep, less anxiety, right? But then what happens is, so the beginning of the month is definitely really good for you. I feel as though it's going to be um, a lot, like not a lot of fear is what I'm feeling. In the middle of the month though, we've got the king of cups, we've got the page of wands, and then we've got the Five of Pentacles. So this is great, still feeling good, feeling kind of coming with love. Now we go down from the Emperor to the King of Cups. Now the Emperor, again, powerful, knows he's got this, feels like the universe has his back, um, knows he's in control, down to the King of Cups, which isn't bad because the King of Cups, you know, still very powerful, but he's living more with love. So you're kind of opening your heart more, I think, in the middle of the month here. And you've got that page of wands, but you've got the five of pentacles. And this is where you start to feel like maybe it's too good to be true. Maybe, um, especially, and again, take, take what resonates, leave what doesn't here. But this might be like if you're in a relationship and you feel like the relationship is going really good, you feel like it's really strong. And then all of a sudden in the middle of the month, and I'm not an astrologer, so I don't know what the heck's happening with the planets, but I do know, like, I think it's November 23rd, I think, is Mercury retro, Mercury goes direct. So this might start to happen here where you might feel as though, well, maybe this isn't the right thing to do. Maybe um, someone's going to leave you. Maybe you're going to leave them. Maybe it's never going to happen. Maybe it's not going to work out. Like, all, I'm just feeling a lot of ego this month for you. So be very, very aware of the ego. Okay, use the intuition. When in doubt, always connect back. So if you feel like a lot of fear is coming up or a lot of negative thoughts are coming up, definitely always convert back to your intuition, meditation, 
um, Reiki energy healing, um, anything like that to really kind of get you out of your head. Because then in the end of the month, now again, <laughs> I love this transition. We go from the Emperor to the King of Cups to the King of Swords. So we've got the King of Swords here. So again, this is feeling... This is kind of where you're starting to get a little aggravated, I would say, and be like, you know, a little frustrated because the King of Swords, I feel like he's putting his sword down like really hard and it's like, I'm done. I don't want to feel like this anymore. And that type of energy is what I'm getting here. Okay. Because then you've got the four of pentacles and this is lack of trust, lack of trust. But then we end up here with the lover's card. Now to me, the lover's card is always about connecting to your higher self and that relationship, connecting to the divine, whoever that is for you, and that relationship. But at the end of the month, I do feel like you're getting a little bit of frustration, a little bit of like, what the heck is going on? Um, but the ego is kind of really playing you at the end of the month, I'm thinking. Yeah, and look at this. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. So overall, it's get out of your head because everything is okay. With this hangman, this is all about perception. The ego is an illusion. The ego wants to keep you safe. Those are your subconscious beliefs. We've got the sun card. And it says awards and affection here. So the sun card is my healing card. And that's really about, again, healing that ego. Where are these subconscious beliefs coming from? Why are they still around? Why are they haunting you, basically? We've got the seven of pentacles. So this is about opportunity. There's different things that are going to come your way. But with the ego attacking, you might not be able to see them um, because you're so scared that they're not going to come. And you might actually manifest them not coming by the fear. And then we've got the two of wands, which is your own power. So really, you've got a choice this month. And the choice is to sit in the ego and to be the ego, which means that anything the ego is telling you, you're completely going to believe. It's like someone telling you a story and you're like, wow, did that really happen? Wow, I can't believe that happened. You know, like you're believing it 100%. But what we want you to do is we want you to contradict it. We want you to battle it. We want you to challenge it. Like, is that story real? Find the facts. Find the facts. I actually just did that, a video on negative thinking last night in the Reiki Vault membership, where it's like, you've got to challenge the negative thoughts because our brain is wired to look for the negativity, to look to see if we're in danger. And that's what our ego is always going to do. But this month, your challenge is to challenge it is to ask it questions like, is that a true story? Like, where does that even come from? Why do I believe that I'm not gonna get what I want? Or why do I believe that in this relationship, someone's gonna leave me? Why do I believe that? And then of course, usually it goes back to childhood and all of that stuff. So that is your challenge for this, this month because you do have two different ways to go. You can either stay in your head and be those emotions or you can step out of those emotions and start asking the questions. Now, speaking of questions, we got some questions to ask. So let's see. This is my Soul Truth deck here. I love it. Um, so we're going to pull out two questions that Taurus needs to hear for the month of November. What message? Mm. Sometimes we don't know what the right questions to ask are, right? So we're going to help you out here. So the first question that came out here is, do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Love this question. The people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Today's soul action. Make a desire list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself. And clarify it if they, let me say that, start that again. And clarify if there's anyone in your life who can no longer serve you. Can you love them from a distance? So again, we keep people in our lives because we've been with them for so long or they're part of our family. But it doesn't mean that you have to let go of them completely. 
but can you love them from a distance so that they're not, um, they're not, uh, oh, what is the word I'm thinking? Um, wow, I totally cannot even think about it, but they're influencing, they're not influencing your vibration, okay? So think about that. Whom, who do you surround yourself and do they lift you up? The other question here is what passion am I ready to pursue? Ooh, I love this. Your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Today's soul action. Write a list of the passions to which you want to give life right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life. I love that. So definitely come back, rewatch this video and really journal about these two questions. Um, you know, I get a lot of people that say, what's my purpose? They're so like determined to find out what their purpose is. And they think it's this huge, big thing, but pur life purposes don't need to be these huge, amazing, you know, crazy things. It doesn't have to be changing the whole world. It can just be making people happy. How do you make people happy and how do you feel happy? Okay. It has to make you feel happy as well. So it could be like, you know, I wasn't always a tarot reader. I was actually an accountant, but like it made me happy and I helped people with their, with their QuickBooks. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I would help people understand the program and fix it for them. And that would like light them up and just seeing them light up was fulfilling for me. And at that moment, that was my purpose. Now moving forward with everything that I've been through, this is my purpose right now. Is this going to be my purpose in 20 years from now? I have no idea. I really don't think that we have one purpose. So find what lights you up inside and what you enjoy doing. Um, and I always say like, what could you do all day long that doesn't feel like work? And your purpose also doesn't have to be work. You can have your job and you can have a purpose as well. And it's completely separate. So try not to tie them in together either. All right. So I hope that resonates with you. If you guys are interested in my Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance course, you can find the details. Please remember early bird pricing does end on November 1st. No exclusions. Um, and then also if you're interested in really diving into the childhood to see what's holding these two cards here, to see what is influencing, like feeling your ego all the time and really being, usually it's the childhood. So if you've been through toxic relationships and you're really interested in kind of letting go of all that crap um, that you have felt for so, so long, you can see if my From Pain to Power mentorship is a good fit for you. There's a questionnaire down in the description box. So you can also check that out as well. All right, but I really want you guys to have a wonderful month and stay out of your head and always connect back to your intuition here. All right, much love to all of you. Hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll talk to you next month. Much love, bye-bye.